For you folks at home, well, uh, uh, Marcel is a, a brother-in-law of That's Phil. Correct. That's correct. Uh, he does a local TV show in Reading called uh, K9 Tales, and um, and Phil's going to sponsor sponsor Marcel so that you folks here in Drake can watch the show. Exactly. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting. I'm, I'm looking to dig into this and see what's going on. I'm a big dog fan. Excellent. I've got a. Uh, a lovable lab at home, uh, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever called Lucky um, Rudy, Very and nice. Uh, nice. he's a, he's a great dog. So a big dog too. <laughs> <laughs> and I was playing with this toy here the other day, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> I broke his television. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so why don't you take a moment, and just tell the folks a little bit about yourself and and your show, and uh, we'll get into it. Okay. Well, uh, it all started um, doing a lot of volunteer work for the board. Uh, I, I said to the executive director um, that. What I wanted to do was to, um, I wanted to do a show. I wanted to have a, a show that would, um, I wasn't sure what kind of show I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to do something. And, and originally my idea was something with a tail. Do I want to do fish tails, cat tails, animal tails? And then I said, you know, I'm really a dog person, so what if I call it something tails? What if I call it Redding Tails? And originally the original name was Redding Tails. And, and, uh, and what I did was I, I said, well, maybe I could do only dogs in Reading, you know, look around town, friends and family. And uh, then eventually I said, you know, uh, Reading is, I had a logo that was very unique. Uh, Reading, as you know, could be pronounced reading. And so people started looking at it saying, reading tales, is it about books? And I'm like, eh, you know, so last season, I actually lasted three seasons with, um, with uh, Reading Tales and decided to change it more to Canine Tales because of the you can't clear, you know, it's easy to explain Canine Tales. So, so this is our first season with the name Canine Tales. Um, and uh, what I've actually provided the studio is three what I call preseason episodes. So these episodes are what we used to be on Writing Tales. And I've actually put them in. There you go. There's, there's the yeah, uh, so, intro. So this is the intro. Uh, I will tell you that the, the... The music. They won't hear us talk. Okay. Dogs can say I love oh, that up. That's okay. Right. We'll have to fire them. So we can talk over this. Yeah. So what this is? This is the uh, the theme song to this to the uh, Canine Tales. This is actually um, that looked like Teddy K's dog. That was, <laughs> yeah. And there's uh, Jordan. That's uh, my sister-in-law's dog. And uh, the song was written for the show. It was written by a local local artist. So the theme, the actually was involved with the, some of the lyrics, not a lot of them. And it's actually the song for the show. So it's actually done, it's an original tune, which is kind of cool. And the whole idea of the show is anybody can be on my show. I don't care, it doesn't matter, it's first come, first serve. I don't like to shoot a lot of, well, film a lot of dogs in advance because the, I run the risk of having dogs or living things and you never know what could happen. So I, I don't like to have like 50 dogs lined up and do the show eventually. That's not the way I do it. I take first come, first serve. If I have to do more episodes, I do them. Um, but uh, it all started with friends and family, my own dog, Otis. You saw the first dog on the show with the canine tails. I'm going to have to see that again. That's Can we my... play that again one more time while we talk? Because there was a lot of dogs that a lot of to dogs. give a lot, a lot of I will, hugging. I will, a lot of you hugging can hug all the dogs, dogs you want. You can hug all the dogs you want. So, are they going to... Okay. Continue to talk oh, so, about So anyway, so, so that's my dog, Winston. That was okay. our original Sheltie. That's my dog, Otis, that we just lost last week, but that's, oh, that's Otis. Sorry, yeah. Those dogs will always be anchored on my show. The, the theme song, that's a dog. This is from camping last year. That's from the Pet Expo. It's just random dogs, close-ups. Uh, with dogs, you always want to get as close as you can. That's Lee. That's on the first episode. That was a canine competition in Andover. Uh, again, the Pet Expo. Um, that was the pause for uh, pause walk in uh, Western Mass. That's a neighbor of mine. That's Juno. That's a Italian Mastiff. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a, and the last dog you saw was Jordan. So the way I'm going to do my episodes. So for the first season, that'll be the episode. I'll, I'll play that through all the episodes. But next season, I'll probably change the dogs based on what was in season one. But there'll be anchors. The first dog. Otis, Winston, and then the last dog is Jordan. Everything else will change. It's kind of my memorial. The other thing is, um, when we finish an episode, we have a party at the studio. Now, we could have a party here. If you'd be more than happy to have a party here, but I actually show the episode for the first time on the studio, on the station. We invite everybody in. Uh, they get the official canine gear. I usually give them an official canine bandana. This is for their, I don't know what, what camera this would be picked up on, but 
So this is what I give all the, anybody that's on my show gets this official. You can't get this anywhere. It's official, official embroidery. It's been, the, uh, the logo has been in, uh, basically digitized so I can stitch this on anything. You'll see the shirt. Right, right. I'm all about branding, as you can tell. It's all going yeah. to match. Um, and so, uh, and I think that's the coolest part is people come on the show and they like, yeah, you see me filming and so on, but then they don't know what to expect. Tell me, what do you do with the dogs? What, what type of filming do you do? I mean, it's just dogs in their everyday activity, whatever you know, they're doing. Yeah, it's not just stu- hanging out. It's or? Not, yeah, it's not stupid Petrix. I don't have them to do any, ask them to do anything they don't do. I do ask them questions. What's their personality traits? Uh, do they have any silly habits? The most important question is, how did you get them? Why did you get the dog? Like, what was your reasoning behind that? And yeah, that usually is a bulk of the questions. And everybody says, well, my dog doesn't do anything special. So I usually say, well, tell me how you got them. And they go into a five minute, you know, I well, you want a dog, I went to a shelter, da da da. 85% of the dogs are shelter dogs. They're not purebreds, uh, although I don't, I don't care what kind of dog they are. But then I have ideas like I, I also have done um, nonprofits. Uh, a lot of these events you saw on the intro there were, were, were just nonprofit events that dogs go to, anybody can go to. So when I go there, it's a gold mine for me because it's footage that I can put on my show, do a highlight reel and so on and so forth. So there's plenty of, if I look too hard, I spend all my time on it and pretty much I'm doing that now. So Yeah. On, on your show, do you spend more time in, in a studio atmosphere or do you go out to the, the, it's the owner's remote. house? It's always remote, yeah. The only thing I do in the studio is we do the virtual intro. So on the actual ep- episode, there's a virtual intro that I didn't bring with me so you can't really see it, but it's a new virtual set we built and I do all the virtual introduction. I do the intro for the pieces, we do the video in the background, it's all done at the studio, but other than that, everything is done remotely. Bring the camera, the wireless microphones. If I go to a, an event, I have a block mic with the, of course, the K9 Tails logo and blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's all done remotely, so it takes a lot of time. What kind of crew do you need to, uh, to do that? Uh, usually just me, but just, uh, yeah. yeah, just me. But I, I, you know, I would love to get a crew, that would be great. Yeah. Of course, you'd have to get a crew shirt. And <laughs> you know, that would well, be great. it might be my only way well, of getting a shirt. I do have a, I, I do have a friend that, that I volunteer all the time. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, seeing he's not running for selectman anymore. Oh, Phil's uh, excellent. We can excellent. have Phil jump right in and help you excellent. out. Excellent, excellent. All you need is the official shirt, and I have an official hat. And, and he's uh, probably got his go. own scooper. There you go. You know, if there's any problems. <laughs> no, I never scoop. That's a good point. I never scoop. No, that's there. For, I don't scoop. I have scooped, but I know how to scoop, but I don't really <laughs> scoop. Um, dogs are great. I, I love my dog. Uh, all the dogs that we've had, you get so attached to dogs. Absolutely, yeah. uh, So I'm really looking forward to watching yeah. this series. Thank you. Thank you. You know, um, um, and I would like to put it out to your viewers that if you, you know, if you want to be on my show, you just contact, um, we can put up the contact information or contact the studio sure. or Phil. Do we have that, um, we can put up, uh, Ron? Oh, you can just contact, contact through no, here. And, they don't uh, have it, but we, we will get it. Yeah. We can, uh, we can read that. And uh, it's at the end of the, at the end of the show, I actually have the contact information. Right. So, um, now, anybody can be on my show. You also moment. have another clip, correct? I do. The other clip I have is a preview of the first season of Canine Tales, which includes what's in the first episode and what will be in the next few episodes. So I'm not sure if we have that, but that's yeah, a little longer. Yeah, see if we can, longer, uh, yeah, it's about uh, two and a half minutes or so, right. but uh, why don't we cue that up and uh, you can enjoy the, this clip.
camera at him. So uh, yeah, so that, that clip you saw was uh, for the first season preview, um, and uh, what what I included there were were uh, not only a couple of dogs like Lee, which is a uh, collie. Uh, there was also a, a group of dogs that were actually Native American Indian dogs, which uh, Katori, Kai, and, and Wadeka, the most beautiful dogs I've ever seen. I met them at the Pet, Pet Expo in uh, Wilmington uh, this past spring, uh, past fall. Beautiful dogs. I, they, they walked around and everybody was looking at them like, what are these dogs? I've never seen one. Uh, there was also Paws in the Park, which is a, an annual event they held. I think it's in Hudson somewhere, or uh, Shrewsbury. I forget where exactly. But you just bring your dog, they give you a bandana, and it's the repeat customers. So it's people that will, um, that will actually have been there the year before. And then there was the last one we saw was the um, Wolfstock, all Basset Hounds. You can go there with a regular dog, but it's got to be a Basset Hound that makes the And it was just the coolest <laughs> to see. Uh, you know, a yard full of uh, dogs. Now, do you, um, Marcel, do you do just dogs or do you do cats or other, you know, rabbits or anything no, like that? No, actually, it? It, 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 it's a good question. I, I actually was asked to do cats. My, my, my daughter has a cat, and um, I decided, just in honor of my daughter, I will do her cat. And I did three cats in one segment. And I quickly learned that it's not like dogs. Cats, cats don't give you... <laughs> <laughs> Cats like to be alone by themselves. And One of the segments I shot, I interviewed the uh, mom and dad. I interviewed them in the kitchen. I never saw the cats. They never <laughs> came out. So I had to get their footage and their, their video, and I, I, never, I, never, uh, I never got to see them. So I did it once, and it was okay, but yeah, yeah. it's primarily dogs. And so with, with, the term, with the name canine, you can't fool anybody. It's just... Oh, right. the other thing I, I didn't mention is the, uh, there was a canine competition in that, that segment as well. The attack, the canine dogs just are going after the, the decoy. That was an awesome event. That was almost two days long. Uh, I shot like over an hour and a half of footage. Every canine crew from the sheriff's department to the local state police, the local local departments were there competing. Um, I'm going to do it again this year in June. So if you look at your calendar and figure out all the dog-related events, my weekends are booked. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah. dogs are um, very special for people. Absolutely. You know, so it's a, yeah. uh, some, some folks like their dogs better than their kids, you know what I mean? I know I do. <laughs> well, my kids are grown, so the answer is yes. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Right? <laughs> Does uh, Redding, uh, Redding have a police dog also? Is no, that's a great question, yeah. Phil. No, they don't actually, but if they did, they would be. <clears throat> and also, when I, I was trying to get a high-profile dog, so I ended up interviewing one of the selectmen in town in Redding. So, you know, high-profile. Yeah. Select Doesn't dog. Matter. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, anything else you could tell us about the, uh, your program and... Um, uh, I, I think another thing people ask me a lot is, uh, so since, since dogs are obviously living and breathing and, and it's a tragedy when we lose them, um, the first, epi first couple episodes, those dogs have since passed because I, I started three years ago. And after the first one passed, I felt obliged to put something at the end of the next episode in honor of those dogs. Mm -hmm. And I did like a, I think it was on camera for 15 seconds. I had the dog's video and the name, and that's it, in memory of. And it happened to have the, the folks from the, the dog's owner was in the room, and I couldn't even talk to them. They were just so broken up. And I saw I started to stop doing that. It was just too emotional. I right. just couldn't. Right. They couldn't even look at it. So uh, no more memorials. And, and these dogs will pass, and they'll be, I put them on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, so everybody can go back to their dog anytime they want. It's filmed What, what is that YouTube great. channel for the folks at home? It's just you go to YouTube and just type in Canine Tales. Canine you'll, Tales? You'll find, you'll find all this. Like, right now, there's only 28 videos. Anything with Reading Tales is actually on the RCTV YouTube channel, so I'm moving some of those over. But uh, it'll grow. You'll, you'll see tons of, um, tons of. How can the folks contact you if they want? If you would. Uh... Anybody that wants to reach me, you can you can just email me at mdubois at caninetails dot com. Uh, the website is www.caninetails.com. Um, Repeat that again for the folks at home. So the, Let, you know they can go out and grab a pen. <coughs> absolutely, that down. absolutely. The website is www.canine tales t-a-i-l-s dot com uh, we also have a facebook page i would love it if everybody that was watching the show would like the page because i'm trying to get the likes up but it's just sh search under canine tales just remember to spell it as t-a-i-l-s uh, and also um, you can email me at m dubois d-u-b-o-i-s at canine tales dot com and at this point i'm, I'm not sure if, if it's actually been scheduled on, on d-a-t-v i know they have a few episodes mm -hmm. uh, so there'll be putting it into the queue and trying to figure out uh, what slots it'll have and, exactly. and how many times a week it'll be played and stuff Correct. like that. But we'll be sure to uh, to keep people updated. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. I appreciate it very much. This is great. This is great. Um, all right. We're going to take a brief intermission, 
And then, um, you know, we'll get a swap up. We've got uh, John O'Grady coming in. We'll, uh, John is the president of the uh, No uh, Trash Fee and uh, or Stop the Trash Fee. Uh, so, Ron, you got a quick little intermission there, maybe a minute or two, and then we'll, uh, we're good to go. Appreciate right. you coming Thank in you and telling time. the folks. Thank you very much. Best Thank of luck. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.